Oh! <gasps> oh! Here he is! Well, well, well. Look who doesn't have an ID or an entry form. Dr. W. Afton. And welcome to GT Not Live, where today I am hanging out with Ash, I am on the couch, and there is nothing noteworthy happening at all in my life. Whoa, really? No, that is so decidedly not true. I was about to say, that feels wrong. No, we are, what, th tomorrow's, tomorrow's the day. Yeah, the, tomorrow is the day. Is the day, D-Day, as they say. <laughs> D-Day is short for the day Da day. Da day. Da day. Da day. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow is my uh, departure from the channels. I hope you enjoy the video that we have in store for you. It's a big one. Do you, do you think they'll enjoy the video that we have in store for them? I hope so. I hope so. We were going crazy in it's, the studio all day for it. Wild, multiple days. Multiple days. There's, the there's been a lot going on with this one. This I. Is, it's been a, honestly cross like cross-nation production it's a cross-nation production yeah yeah so that's happening tomorrow okay so i wanted to talk to you about this yeah um, what's up just because i saw it in the episode yeah. and i was like i haven't really talked to you much about it mm -hmm. um but yeah. you know a couple days back uh style theory had you know you had your last style theory episode yeah, yeah. the creators in fashion the fashion show. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Okay, what? So, you know, you're going to come back and you're going to, mm -hmm. you know, do the hosting thing and everything. <laughs> do the hosting thing. Do the thing. hosting yeah, yeah. thing. Uh -huh. um, but, like, what are the updates on that? Because oh, it's... we talked about it forever ago on a meme review. And then I've just kind of got, like, a lull of information as yeah. things just were kind of sewn together in the background. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Oh, it's it's a lot. It's it's cool. Okay. It's cool. It's, it's coming together really well. Um, we just finalized the space. Uh, but we've we've we have all the creators locked in um, who are walking in their own independent run, run like so basically we start and end mm -hmm. this kind of like series of runway walks and then in between there will be other creators who are you know, representing a lot of different verticals across YouTube so there's someone from the the uh, fitness and athleisure space there's someone from the lifestyle space there's someone from like the art community like art and like design community. Uh, there's a live streaming nerd, like a live streaming, like nerd dumb, uh, tabletop brand in there, which is cool. Whoa. Yeah. No, like wait, it's, wait, wait, it's, wait, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a broad spectrum. It's very, very cool. And I'm so hyped about the people that have said yes to this. And then on top of that, we have, uh, people who are coming in to help us uh, commentate on, you know, like as we transition between runway walks, as models get ready to talk about like the design process looks, they liked what they liked about them, how the design works together. Um, so you have uh, some of my friends coming in for that, uh, like some creator friends. And then, uh, and then on top of all of that, if they don't have a full on fashion line, uh, it looks like we have like, uh, Christine from Symphony Neological. She's got like, she's sending a bunch of like hollow taco. She might be designing her own like specialty nail for some of the looks and stuff like that. Whoa. We've got a couple other like, um, uh, beauty influencer, like jewelry brands uh, being a part of it too. Like it's, it's cool. I, I think. In general, like the whole idea of that project is something I've wanted to do for a while and, and something that I, I now get a chance to do, which is sadly, the creator culture isn't really respected outside of these walls or isn't really out, respected outside of YouTube. Even like Mr. Beast had like a, a Time Magazine feature the other day and like the way they talked about it was like low key shading, like, oh, spends all his time doing this and like. It wasn't written in a flattering way. There's always a skew whenever people cover YouTube, right? And and like digital online creators, digital brands, whatever, just don't get elevated or get like the level of respect that they want. And so I'm like, hey, I, as a person who supports this community and thinks nothing but high highly of, of my fellow creators and people who are, are making businesses off of their own backs and stuff, like I want to give them platforms and opportunities and tools that make their lives easier, right? So that's always been kind of an undercurrent of the, the projects that I, I try to pursue and, and say yes to, right? Premium opportunities that, that either elevate this whole medium or projects that give people a chance to shine, right? And I think Creators in Fashion is the first of those where it's like, hey, 
there are a, a, a lot of channels out there that are doing a lot of really cool things in the apparel, fashion, and style space. And sure, everyone knows about Feastables and everyone knows about Prime, but like, do you know about PopFlex by Cassie Ho? Do you know about some of these other brands that people have done where there's like actual design and thought and care put into these things? Let's give them a platform that they can all be celebrated together. And hey, if you're a fan of these channels, that's awesome. Maybe they can launch something new there, but hey, if, or maybe you're exposed to a new creator that's doing something really cool there. And if you want to pick stuff up and, and buy it, that's awesome. But if you just want to like celebrate fashion and this community and all these communities coming together and doing cool stuff, that's awesome too. Oh man. And the goal is year over year to like build it, build it, build it. Like this year, we could have made it bigger, honestly. Like I, th like it has been very easy for us to get yeses from people because everyone recognizes that this is a need in the space. Yeah. You know, and so when I'm like, hey, this is my vision of this event, they're like, yeah, 100%, easy. How, what, tell me how much you need, you know, which has been, it's incredibly flattering. It's been wonderful to see, but I don't want to, I don't want to bite off more than we can chew in this first one because it's a lot, right? We're not only creating this very large scale show featuring like seven, eight, nine different people's businesses. So that's already complicated enough. But in addition to that, we are also creating our own apparel line to launch as a part of it, right? So we're, we're doing, you know, our 12, 15 looks in addition to putting on this larger production. So it's, it's a lot of stuff that's happening. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a lot. Uh, Amy, uh, bless her, has been a champ at like spearheading a lot of this and filtering down a lot of the stuff that I need to make decisions on and this and that. Um, but it's cool. But I, my hope is once we've proven the formula and said like, hey, this is what it is. We understand how it works, what these workflows look like and people understand creators in fashion i know what it is each year we can start to level it up and make it bigger and bigger to make it almost the equivalent of like uh fashion week here on youtube which oh is what, I, what i'd like to do so okay. we'll see so this is like full scent like professional fashion show yeah right like are we getting like the fancy schmancy models like i they don't have to be fancy schmancy and they're just professionals and very good at what they do yes um but like legitimate like if you want to walk you can walk you're kidding yeah, 100%. If you want to walk, go with please. Are you serious? Yeah, I, yeah 100%. So, I was just, we've already talked about this, where, like, internally, where if we want models to show off what they can do and, and show off everyone's clothing to the best effect, right? And especially because we're inviting other people to be a part of this, you know, and we are kind of showcasing a lot of their lines for the first time. We want them to be shown off to the best of our abilities. And so we're like, here's a pool of models that are uh, diverse, represent different body types, different ethnicities, genders, uh, all of that, right? D different sorts of identities, like whatever. But like, here is that crew and, and you can use them and they're professionals and they're amazing at what they do. But for us, because, you know, I value and we value you know, this idea of like, hey, anyone can be a model, anyone can be stylish, anyone can be fabulous, right? Like, if you want to walk, we have already earmarked, I think like three or four walks or three or four looks per runway show for us, for the team members to, to walk. So if you want to do it, you can. Whoa. 100%. I'm, I'm, I'm already planning on walking. That would be so cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do one uh, that... <laughs> where it becomes audience participation, let's say. Whoa, wait, mm -hmm. what? Yeah. <laughs> I, okay. There's a couple moments, there's a couple moments, because it's a live show and it's yeah, digital, yeah. right? And so not only is it like, oh, I don't care about runways, because I, well, you know, I understand that it's a weird genre of content, right? So maybe you don't care about runways, but there's still, it, it's still digital, it's still a performance, it's still a show, right? right. Yes. And I want to make it fun and interesting for people to watch. And so it starts with uh, a very bold, start where it'll be very dramatic and it, it'll be showing off some of the old things that we did with uh the fnaf line mm. so it, it should have a very punchy beginning there'll be a couple of like very interesting moments sprinkled throughout and then i'll close things off with a good audience participation moment where it should be satisfying for a lot of people i think but Ooh. if you would like to walk uh i would love to have you i think it would be wonderful for you to be a part of it oh my god yeah dude cool Oh, oh my god, that's so sick! Great, yeah. I mean, I, this is about the time that we should be letting people know anyway. So no, this is good. Oh my gosh! Awesome. Yeah, I'll Yay. talk to. You. We'll make sure that Amy is, and I'm assuming you want to be in what the FNAF line. I simply got to be in FNAF. Okay. Okay. I think we can do that. Oh my god! Cool. I think I think I think we have two, three earmarked for FNAF. Yeah. So okay. Cool. Wee. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> 
Anyway, hi, welcome. So, so clearly, I'm going to be super relaxed during retirement. Uh, you know, in the, in the aftermath of tomorrow, uh, my, as you can tell, my schedule's already filled. Lorefi, don't you? This isn't even talking about Lorefi, which is Oof. coming. To, Riders music is so good. Anyway, that's a whole separate. We'll talk about that next time. I've, I've been, I've been just rambling this whole time. What are we, what are we doing? Um. Okay. Here's what we're doing. What are we doing? It is a game. It is called That's Not My Neighbor. Th that's not my neighbor. That's not my neighbor. Okay. <laughs> like, are they are they phonies? They're imposters. Pho it is kind of like spot the phony. Okay, phonies betwixt y'all. Betwixt all y'all. Betwixt all y'all. <laughs> There's the, watch out, friends. There's phonies betwixt all y'all. <laughs> Today on the GT Live, we're going back to our roots, man. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's not my neighbor. Won't you be my neighbor? Can I open this? Okay, unscrew this. I cannot. Okay, no. Uh, I'm already noticing lore, very important here. Obviously, you can take you can take the channels out of the man, but you can't take the lore out of his. Anyway, <laughs> it didn't work at all. February 1955, February 1955. So that's interesting, and it's the 10th, so we're getting close to Valentine's Day. Uh, three three one two D D D D D D. Can I also just say DDD reminds me of King DDD from the Kirby series? Valid. Which it always bothered me that it was three Ds and not two. I always thought it was King DD, but then I realized that it was King DDD. 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 I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I can record it. This is play. Yeah. Ooh, arcade mode. The doppelgangers you let in don't kill you immediately. <laughs> oh, I would say that this might be a doppelganger based on the uh, volume of eyes that he has. But at, they don't kill you immediately, but at the end of the run. Get a score rank at the end of the run according to your performance. Possibility to find and complete the Chester's Quiz. The DDD is working on it. Okay, so DDD is in reference to this, you know, like biohazardy thing. Okay, DDD. Okay, so they're working on other stuff. All right. Let's play. Sure, let's do it. Let's watch out for some doppelgangers. CCFF. Assuming that's an alignment code? Okay. The following short film is a production of DDD with educational fines. Oh. Apologies to anyone with a tryptophobia. If you're watching this film, it's because you're the new doorman in the building. Your job's to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger. Okay. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform into another person. They have stretched up faces, but some are not good at it and could generate imperfections. Okay. Or they just have very bad case of warts. You have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors. Maybe they touched a frog and it went badly. Remember to fill out the checklist for each neighbor. Oh, so it's a little bit like papers, please, too. Checklist. You can't miss any detail because it could mean death for you and your neighbors. Great. This is the structure of your office. Now we're going to explain how it works. Use some more poke in my life. Here's the security window. Don't forget to observe very well each individual who approaches. So it is. It's a mix of like phonies, but also papers, please. On the right, you have the folders with all the data of each neighbor according to the respective floor. Don't mind me. I'm just jamming out to the accordion. To fill out the checklist, take one of the lists in front of you. Receive documents from this hatch. Oh, yeah, I'm checking and comparing documents. Yep. If you determine that the individual isn't a doppelganger, then allow them into the building with these buttons. Okay, will do. Or how about I just let everyone else out and have the building to myself? Otherwise, if you determine that he is in fact a doppelganger, press the emergency button and call 3312. Okay, odd. To communicate with the DDD, DDD, or any apartment in your building, use the telephone in front of you. Okay, so I'd like to phone a friend, call for help. Your job is really important, so make sure you do it right. Will do. Oh, finally. <laughs> Excuse me. We congratulate the doorman of the month, Henry. It wasn't that he did an excellent job, but he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by doppelgangers. That's the face of a man who's seen some things. Yeah, right? Be like Henry. Don't get killed. You be like Henry, but better. Oh, he's, he's, he's doorman of the month, though. Yeah. 
I don't want to take that away from him. That's no easy feat. He's, he's worked hard to achieve that. Oh, hello. Welcome and congratulations on your new job. Thank you. As you could see on the introductory film, your job is to verify the entry of the neighbors into the building. Each day, there will be a list of individuals who request entry into the building. Arnold Schmidt. Lori Schmidt. Is it... It is possible that they are individuals who request entry. Okay, we'll make our own checklist. They're not on the list. Proceed to question the individual. Okay, so if they're not on the checklist at all, we start the questioning. You must verify that the ID and the entry request are correct and have the respective DDD file. Okay. Don't forget to check the expiration date on the IDs. Remember, it's February 1955. Okay. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Roman Stilnsky. Okay, we got a lot of them. Hello, sir. Oh, good afternoon. Yes. Hello. Oh, hello. You are Arnold, apartment F201. Arnold Capuchin. Okay, Arnold Schmidt. Arnold Schmidt. You're, you're not Capuchin. You're Arnold. So this guy's a fake. You're a liar. You're a liar, sir. Mark is appropriate. Okay, his appearance. Okay, his appearance is about right. Looks good. What else do I need? Big eyebrows. His appearance is good. Entry request denied. Wait, entry. ID. He has an ID, but it's not good. Is it on today's list? Arnold Schmidt. There's an Arnold Schmidt. I'm denying this guy. Get out of here. Hold up. I'm a resident of the building. My apartment is on the the 01 of the second floor. You're denied. You're denied, sir. Get I'm not no. Get out of here. Leave. ID check or X. Wrong. I don't want to question him. I I know. My ID. Yes. I don't see anything wrong with my ID. You're just wrong. You you have the wrong name, sir. Your appearance is fine. Your entry request is denied. Is it on today's list? No. Done. Deny. Can I deny him? He is denied. Do I just alert? Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh-huh. Three, yep, okay. Three, three. Can I, can I get this man removed from my, from my location, please? Let's get, please, let's, let's give him the boot. There's my my oh, okay. Can I get rid of you? What do I need to do to get rid of you? You are not on the list. Look at the ID again. Okay. So that's not his name, but he has an ID. He does. So I'm saying, oh, he has an ID. His appearance is fine. His entry request is denied, though. <laughs> Yes, your entry request. Of course you do, because you're lying to me, you imposter. Is he on today's list? Is this what it is? No, you're not. I think there's an error. I should be on the list. Well, you're not. Get out. Commit. Raw, <laughs> right? No, no, I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm confused. Am I supposed to let this guy in? Is, is his name supposed to be good here? Is he on today's list? He's not. So, it, I already answered your question. No, you didn't. X them out across the board. Is he supposed to be okay? You compare them well with me. Sure. Denied! This is an emergency. Get him out of here. <laughs> it's done. We're done. We're done here. I 
I quit you, sir. You're out of here. Here, I'm calling these guys back. I'm, there's clearly an emergency. This man is trying to break into my house. Imposter. Imposter alert. There's phonies betwixt y'all. I've contacted the DDD. Group of agents have been sent to the bill. Good, take out this capuchin guy. Please wait for the cleaning protocol to run. Thank you. Okay. Cleaning protocol completed. Good. I don't think I was supposed to do that, though. You can continue your job. Thanks. If he saunters back up to this window, I swear I will quit right now. Henry can eat my shorts. Okay, we've got a new one. Good afternoon. Thank you. You are Mia Stone. Are you on the list? Mia Stone, 3-1. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a teacher of 301. Mia Stone, great. Okay, teacher. Long hair, small round nose, freckles, oval face, thin eyebrows. Freckles, thin eyebrows. Looks good. I think, I think she checks out. I think this is a winner. 789-564. Wow. 789-564-564-525-115. Yep, that's it. Good. Great. Oh, date, birth date. 878. Oops, other one, sorry. What's her birth date? I don't get it. Doesn't matter. Okay. Fair enough. I'm gonna allow you in. You're welcome. You pass. I can't open the door for you. A oh, winner's you. That other guy. I don't know what was up with Capuchin though. Yeah, that was that was a little bizarre. I'm glad we cleaned him out though. Oh, this guy. Oh, that, oh, oh no, my God! No, stop! There was a man with two noses. <laughs> that was not okay. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been fun, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you tune in for the fashion show. Bye. I have lost. I have lost my job as doorman. I let a man in with two noses. I love that we struggle with the man with the wrong, the wrong name, and we just let saunter on in the man with two, two noses. Damn it. <laughs> Whatever. Welcome aboard. It's a free for all. Who cares? Woo! Get everybody in the old brass wagon. What a mess. We're gonna have to redo this day. <laughs> sure. Go. Yeah. Just. Yeah. Come on in. Whatever. Accepting all entrants. Oh Except if your last name is Capuchin. In which case, no. We will accept none of you. That guy looks like a rejected Muppet. I was about to say. It's like it's like someone. For, it's like Bert came into town. It's off like of Sesame Street. The Snape Puppet Pal. <laughs> Snape. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just putting myself out of my misery here. Yeah, man. That is the saddest looking milkman I've ever seen in my life. Have you seen many milkmen in your life, Ash? No. I was going to say, so there you go. It's pretty easy. Maybe all milkmen are sad. You ever think about that? I, yeah. No one's ever asking how the milkman is. No. Right? They're just asking about the milk. They were asking where he was, but. <laughs> Just, I, 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 I was, I thought there would be like three people trying to get in. The fact that there is still a progression of people coming into my house, my building. Oh, he's back. We'll, we'll have two of them. It's fine. Oh, okay. We got to catch them all. Great. He's Pokemon. a common. Maybe they're twins. Yeah, he's a common. That's fine. I'm, I'm looking for a rare shiny Pokemon here. <laughs> wow. The, the days last long here, don't they? I, yeah. I mean, I guess a lot of people would live in a building with three floors. Oh, oh, that guy again. But he had a mysterious scar. That he did. Day. I don't trust that one. I didn't Ooh. trust that one at all. I don't know. Mm. At this point, hmm. A lot of twins. A lot of twins. Twin heavy. <laughs> double, double your flavor, double your fun. That's the statement oh, of the geez. great mint and double mint gum. Oh, I wonder if that was, if that was, uh, Capuchin? Our, uh, uh Schmidt. Or maybe it was the real one. And yeah. he's going to walk in and have a wild surprise. That's his wife. Okay. I remember that. Cute. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I know that, like, they were both Schmitz. Okay. Is it any... Is it... Is it I thought for sure... 
these are the nicest imposter phonies that exist out there. I, I expected me to die immediately. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Were those my hands? Was that one sneaking behind me? I don't, I don't think so. I think you said the magic word and they killed you. There is blood on my hands, Mr. Danforth. Oh, wait, so did I get doppelganger's captured. Doppels you allowed in, five. I still got a C. And no one died, except you. Except for me. I got a C, Ash. Yeah, good job. For not even trying, I C's got a C. C's get degrees. C's de so, so we've learned something though. In huh? order to, so I, I dealt with Capuchin correctly, <laughs> apparently. Yeah. Doppel's captured one, I captured one. Good for me. So really, I didn't have to give up. Although I did, I did let guy, a guy in who had two noses for a face. So there you go. Hello, welcome back. So are we or are we not continuing? That's not my neighbor at this point. Is Stephanie behind the couch again? I, no, no one's behind the couch okay. now. We're continuing. Okay. Yes. Cause for those of you who don't know or are confused by the jump cut that just happened, we had to take a break between that's not my neighbor recordings. I came back to sit on the couch to play more of the game. And all of a sudden it became an ambush. <laughs> An ambush happened, at which point then I wept openly for the next, like, 30 minutes. No, it was great. And to give you a little more color on the situation, um, between recordings, Steph and I conspired to show Matt the, U the YouTube tribute that was, that was made for him. Yes. And for the second recording, I wanted to try to get a start on the episode so that there was a natural flow for you guys when you were watching it. Right. So I lied and told Matt, hey, our intro is really peaked out. Like our audio clips a lot. Which I was surprised by because you haven't had that problem in a long time. Yeah. And so I, I was a little bit like sketched out, but I also know we've been having some mic issues lately. Right. And so I'm like, oh, I, that wouldn't surprise me, but it felt uncharacteristic for us to have to reshoot an intro. Yeah. I will say, because <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> like we tend not to do that. Yeah. So I had Matt restart, um, pretending like it was the top of the first time we were playing. And that's when Steph jumped out and that's, the confusion of Matt going back and forth between I haven't played this. Wait, are we continuing playing this? Huh? Yeah. So the, yeah. The 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 meta narrative behind all of this is very <laughs> confusing. So thank you for clarifying. Yeah, for sure. You lured me in. Like we had filmed the first half of it, and then we had to take a break. To, uh, and we're like, that wasn't enough for a full episode. Let's come back and play some more. But then when we came back for that recording, it was yeah, there was tech technical issues. Yeah. Haha, -ha, lol. Stephanie behind the couch the entire time. Jump scare. Single biggest jump scare in the history of the channel. Yep. It was, it was a big one. That was a big jump scare. It, no, it was super fun. And then it became, you know, try not to cry challenge and I failed. Yeah. I, I did. I failed a lot. Like, because you cried every time. I, 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 I like it. Someone was cutting onions and then some. <laughs> so anyway, so we are officially back yes. to complete the, the, the back half of this recording of me trying to not suck at that's not my neighbor, <laughs> right? Yes. Me to literally try to accomplish anything in this game right okay yes. great so the, there are phonies amongst us by the end of the first one we had a general sense of maybe how to play this game maybe perhaps perhaps so we're gonna try this again so i'm, I'm looking for it, it's also a different day now like because of all the filmings that happened and the time that was allotted for them we're now coming back the next day to, to film this or a couple days later actually yep okay cool so that's not my neighbor Take two, let's play. See, this is how they should be starting you off. I feel like. This right here, this should be level one. This guy is an imposter. That guy is a duplicate, a doppelganger. Yes. Not None of this like, is his last, is his last name correct or not? That was, no, this right here, <laughs> obvious phony. Easy, there we go, let's try it. Woo. Okay, we can skip this. We know what our job is, <laughs> or at least we think we do. And we know now that we have to call in order to shut people down. We also learned that we have to shut people down using, like as soon as the door is unlocked, like when it's unlocked, we have to switch back to locked. Okay, ready. Hello, sir. You look normal. Good afternoon. Okay, Alf. Alf Capuchin. Another uh, Capuchin. <laughs> They're all named Capuchins. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a lawyer. Uh, F304. F304, Alf Capuchin, lawyer, that's correct. Big nose, prominent mustache, monocle, face, hat. Looks about right. 
F304, it comes from his job as a lawyer. 12054, 809, 12054, 809. 12054 809 6374 63 oh sorry 6347 6347 8 1960 we don't have a birth date for this man so i think he's a good he's a good one. lock it back down oh i'm supposed to fill out these forms too great perfect hello ma'am hi or whatever he's not okay uh, she did. She did not give me a form, so I'm concerned about that. Here, entry request. So she has an ID. Here, well, actually, let me let me double check everything else. Oh, I can't re refer to her as anything. Anastasia McHale's two o four. Anastasia McHale's student, tired eyes, two ponytails, small nose, round face. Yep, those eyes do be tired. Yeah. She has been staying up late working on some stuff. Uh, small nose, round face. Yeah, that looks right. 13269. 13269. 8534485344462. 8534462. Okay. And she's allowed in today. So that's, this seems like a win right here. She didn't provide me an entry request, though. That seems like that matters, right? Mm, I for yes, there you go. Mm, I forgot to show my entry request. Yeah, there it is. Look at me. I'm getting better. Anastasia McHales. I live here, whatever. I come from the school. Anastasia. Okay, I want to make sure that the spelling was right. Okay, you look good. This doesn't sound about right. All right, there we go. Don't forget your form, ma'am. Move along! We got you. Next. Hello there, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, this is a no smoking establishment. Uh, you are. <laughs> McClue Run Boy. <laughs> He's missing his hat in this picture. I don't know if that matters. Uh, McClue Run Boys 33. 33. I'm a resident of the building. I come. I come from doing the shopping. Three three McClue Rudd boys retired. Come from doing the shopping. Always wears a hat. Smokes goatee, big nose, mustache. Smokes always wears a hat. Goatee always wears a hat, except for all the pictures in which he's depicted. In which case, he does not wear a hat. Ain't that suspicious? Don't don't get it twisted, friends. McClue Rudd boys nine six uh, four five one nine six four five one. Nine six four five one six one eight four six one eight four six one one. What's the six one one? Yep, six one one. Great. Doing good, guy. Doing great. Good for you. So is everything in order? It is actually. Yes. Oh, sorry. You were gonna say something, but it's like that. Never mind. No time for pleasantries. Forget that. It's good. Hopefully, I don't have to fill out a form. All right. Good afternoon. Hello, sir. You are Angus Cipriani. One three. I'm a resident of this building. I come from my job as a businessman. Are you on the list? Angus Cipriani. One three. That's correct. He comes as a businessman. One three. Angus Cipriani. Uh, ID number. Oh, geez, a long one. Businessman. Long net. Wears a hat. Has a mustache. Small eyes. Mustache. Hat. Small. I'd say normalish eyes. Right. I don't think they're necessarily small. Let's not judge them too much. Five six five hundred. Fifty six five hundred. Fifty six five hundred. Three nine six eight eight. Three, nine, oh, three six nine eight eight. Yeah. Four five. Four five. Looks good. Looks good. You're looking good, bud. So is everything in order? Are you gonna say something to me? Can you open the door for me? Yes, I can. A decided lack of doppelgangers this round. I know. They're like, man, he botched it so badly the first time. We need to give him all the... Oh! Well, well, well. We meet again, my old nemesis. Arnold Schmidt, you say? Arnold Schmidt. Okay, you are Arnold Schmidt. Fine. <laughs> two, two, one. Two, one. Arnold Schmidt. Schmidt. Is that the way it's spelled? Schmidt. Schmidt. Schmicked. 
Okay, it is. Okay. Schmicked. I can see that with all these consonants, I can see them trying to throw in something. Resident building. My apartment is on the O is the O1 on the second floor. Big eyebrows. Uh, it is the O1 on the second floor. Prominent mustache. Wears a hat. Round face. Short hair. Checks out. Seven seven eight five six six. Seven seven eight five six six two one nine three two two. Two one nine three two two. I love that these sorts of like procedure games are so popular online. Right. Where it's just like, yep, just doing like our mundane tasks. Yeah. Who needs high fidelity action, high textual graphics, whatever, high textures. No, nope, just going about our daily afternoon. This is Bert from Bert and Ernie. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, you have given me literally nothing. Uh, hold up. Are you in here today? You're not even in here today. Sorry, sir, you are not allowed. Uh, he is no ID. I can't even judge his appearance. Entry request, no, is the end of today's list. My ID! Yes, I lost it. Oh! What's wrong with my appearance? I look like I always do. Do you? Is it necessary, the entry request? Oh, this guy is giving me a hard time. We're neighbors, you know me. I don't need an entry request to get to my... You do, though. That's that's literally my job here. I had to make a new ID. Oh, guy. Okay. Oh, they couldn't add me to the list. Unacceptable. I'm sorry, sir. You are rejected. Three. Three. One. Two. Get, get him out of here. Give him the boot! Give him the boot! Come on. I have contacted the DDD. Group of agents have been sent to your bill. Good. Clear this man out of here. He has passed zero of the inspections. Wouldn't that be terrible if that was all true, though? If he was like, yeah. Right. <laughs> I'd literally summon a hazmat crew to yeet him out of here. They'll teach you to lose your ID. Just leave a voicemail next time, man. Right? Come on, man. They have apps for this sort of thing now. Right? Download the app next time, okay? <laughs> there is a very specific protocol that we follow. You know, hi or whatever, you are already in the building, ma'am. You know. I live here, my apartment is the fourth on the second floor, yeah. Two, four. Anastasia Mikhail's. Anastasia Mikhail's. Hold up. Two ponytails. Yeah, she looks the same here. Is she one three two six nine eight five one three two six nine eight five one three two six nine eight five three four four six two. Hmm. Three four four six. Um. Should I be concerned what? about this? I, this this is suspicious. Like how? Yeah, you've been here before, ma'am. We've we've had this interact. Did, is one of them a doppelganger, and I just messed it up? Anastacha, Anastacha, Mikhail's, Mikhail's. She does live on the fourth. Of the, oh no! Are we able to have duplicates? Did she leave and come back? Maybe she went out the back. Let's give her the yeah. benefit of the doubt. Right. She clearly went out the back fire escape door. Right. So she just looped back around for some reason. She is on today's list. She looks normal. She does have an entry request and an ID. How? What? How? Huh? I'm confused. I'm concerned. Boobadoo, boobadoo. to you too, ma'am. I feel bad about that one. I'm so I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous about that one, Ash. Gosh. We might still be bad at this game. Uh, maybe. I, I, this might not be okay. Uh, okay, this guy's here. He is not on an entry request. Steven, oh, Steven Rudd boys. I'm a resident of the building. I come from a job as a pilot. 3-3. Three, three. So he's related to, yeah, Steven Rudd boys. Big nose, glasses, short hair, small head. But he's not... He's got an ID, his appearance looks good. Entry request though. Oh no, he's got an entry request, but he's not on the list. I'm not on today's list because I had to leave due to an emergency at work. All right, we're gonna fire it off though. Three, three, one, 
two. Get him out of here! Get out of here! Give him the boot! This process, it takes a shockingly long amount of time to get a doppelganger out of here. Right? Like, a very long time. Like, as soon as I slam the door, that doppelganger be heading out. He's gone. Gone. Right, if he's, I wonder what's gonna happen with this alarm sounding and this oh. giant thing in my face. What an interesting ambiance. Huh. <laughs> Didn't expect this to be the case. Good afternoon, ma'am. Who are you? Mia Stone. Mia Stone. 301. Resident of building. <laughs> that really resident from. Job as a teacher. 301. Mia Stone. 301. Mia Stone, teacher. Long hair, small round nose, freckles, oval face, and eyebrows. Freckles, small nose, big lip. This looks like her. This is accurate. Yep, oval face. Great. Seven eight nine five six four or seven eight nine five six four seven eight nine five six four five two five one one five five two five one one five six four five two five. Yep. Okay. That that checks out. Three one. That checks out. She looks normal. I mean, she looks good. Yep. Blah 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 blah. Oh, wait a minute. Good afternoon again. That's the correct nose, though. Rud boys, yeah. It is the... Wait. Dr. <laughs> Ash. Yeah? Dr. W. Afton? Mm -hmm. W. Afton? <laughs> Clearly w Wallace Afton. Wallace? Wallace Afton. <laughs> I, oh my gosh, he has a brother? Older brother of William Afton. <laughs> William and Wallace. William and Wallace Afton, guys. It's like a 50s uh, television show. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so this, he looks, okay, he looks normal. Stephen Rudd boys, we know this. There. But he's still not on the list. So I still got to question him, but he does have this. Oops, sorry. Click this. He does have this, Stephen Rudd boys. So we're going to say boop, boop. Boop, boop. Oh, I got a what? Hello? Today's list? Uh oh. I didn't count on that. You caught me. Oh. Oh. I, I will do that. They will never be able to finish us off. In the end, we will achieve our goal. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, you didn't have to confess to it, dude. No, I was locked in. <laughs> right? All you had to do was sell me on a believable lie. It's okay. Well, cool. All right. Bye. Then. <laughs> nice talking much. to you. See ya. See ya. <laughs> I will continue standing here. You have defeated me. Okay. I mean, that's your call, bud. I have contacted the DDD. Can you, can you clear this guy out? Thank you. Well, oh my gosh, man, Stephen Rudd boys, they're they're really digging into the Stephen Rudd boys. They really, really trying to sneak in through that that guy's. The variants of this man are a problem. <laughs> Hi, hello, <laughs> hello, Robert Ski Peachman. <laughs> Robert Ski Peachman, one two, one two, Robert Ski Peachman. Is the fact that I got a gold trophy mean I'm done with this day and I just should let everyone else in? 114 Robert T. Peachman. Robert T. Peachman, one, two. I'm a resident of the building. I come from my job as a shoemaker. Are you actually a shoemaker? You are a shoemaker. Long neck, no eyebrows, big nose, goatee. Yes. Yeah. I would say this is a good, this is good. Perfect. Go for it, bud. <laughs> it's like Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh, hello. Lois Stalinsky. Hey, Lois. You have not given me your entry request. Yes, I forgot to show you my entry request. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. There's a process here. Lois Stalinsky. Lois Stilins Stilinski, 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, Lois Stilinski. I'm a resident of the building. I went out to visit my mother. 1-1, one, one, Lois Stilinski. She is a housewife. Big lips, mole on left cheek. 
or left cheek, round face, short hair. Big lips, mole on left cheek, round lips, big hair. Yep. This looks about right. I approve of this. And now let's check your number. 89456. 89456. 89456. 9723. 9723. 651. 651. Looks good. Roll on board with this one. I'm going to let you go, ma'am. See you later. Man. It's, a, it's a busy day at the apartment. Yeah, everyone's coming in. They'd be coming and going. Some of them are coming twice. I know. Weird, you know. Oh, hello, good day. You forgot your ID, ma'am. Come on, ma'am. Here's the ID. Okay, thank you. This is not hard. Raftalin Capuchin. Another Capuchin. Sus. Right? I don't trust any Capuchin Capuchins. Raftalin Capuchin 3-4. Three, 3-4. Four. Three, four. I'm a resident of the building. I'm going to my parents. 3-4. Raft. Lynn Capuchin. He's a housewife, long face, big nose, straight hair. Where's the hair band? Long face, big nose, straight hair. Where's the hair band? Long face, straight nose, big lips, hair band. Looks about right. Five six eight five five. Five six eight five five four five nine six. Four five nine six three two nine. Three two nine. There you go. I think you look good. Head on in, ma'am. Enjoy your time here at the apartment. Oh, hold on a minute. You're not the right one, Lois Stilinski. I just saw you elsewhere and you don't have those big buck teeth. Get out of here, imposter, phony, doppelganger. Praying off of society's fears about being imposterized. Yes, I have. Did I clear the way? Good. I guess I could have asked her about her teeth. Hey, your teeth are different now. Yeah. What's going on? Did you go to a reverse orthodontist? <laughs> right, I guess I could have asked her about her appearance and been like, hey, are you wearing, like, falsies today? Hello. Hello, your clown. I don't think you're on the list. Hey, bud. Ever dream this <laughs> What? Excuse me? Every night, all over the world, hundreds of people see this clown in their dreams. If this clown appears in your dreams, don't play any game with him. If you want more information, go to Nacho Games. Unlikely. Oh. Uh, 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 what? Uh, bye. Bye. See ya. Ever see ya. dream this clown? Is <laughs> it just handing out flyers? Oh. No! Who did we let in? It had to be one of the... It had to be one of... Doppel's captured four. Neighbors killed zero. I wonder who was it? Who was it? No date, date on the ID. ID. No Whoa. date on the ID. Oh, that sucks because the, the IDs are so, like the dates are so unnecessary it feels like because I'm not checking anything about them. Oh man. Nards. Nards, was it the first one or the second one? I think it was the first one. Probably the first one. Right. The second one seemed legit. Right, second one seemed legit. But we haven't killed anyone except ourselves. Right, the only... Which feels great. <laughs> Look, okay. In context. <laughs> not out of context. Yeah, I was gonna say, within. Yeah. Within. <laughs> Stay within. Things that Ash will regret saying at some point. 2024 compilation. 2024 compilation. Add that one to the list. <laughs> Feels great, man. It does not. Don't uh, please do not listen to anything Ash has to say. Never listen don't, to me. Don't trust Ash at all. <laughs> well, we got a weird clown, man. Yeah. Does that mean that I uh, did I progress to another level or no? Am I still? Do I have to get a perfect score? Get a score rank at the end of your run according to your performance. Possibility to find and complete the Chester's quiz. Oh, we simply gotta find the Chester's quiz. I don't. I don't think that. I think that's just random chance, right? I the Chester's prob quiz. Probably, but it would be cool. I want to at least see the Afton. We. Uh, the Afton knows to stay away from me. <laughs> the Afton knows that this is not a place. For, oh, I get to keep this. Okay, so this is still the same bed. So is this continuous? Is uh, did we beat the game? Did we win? Because this is still the intro statement but i keep this so there's some level of continuity here 
Huh. In Hi, hello. Is the job as a shoemaker? That's weird. Uh, Robertsky Peachman, 114-6522. Shoemaker. Long neck, eyebrow. Yeah, no eyebrows. Goatee. Yep. Uh, okay, great. And he has a date. He does have a date. Robertsky Peachman. And is he on the list? I guess his last thing. He is not on the list, actually. So that's the biggest watch out here. Uh, he's not on today's list. You are not on today's list, sir. I think there's an error. I should be on the... Well, there, I can't help you with that. Look at the list again. You are still not on the list, sir. I, I can't help you with that. You're not on the list. Reject. Press X to doubt. Sorry, bud. I, I, I wish I could add. I like that that's where our conversation ends. It's like, check the list again. Nope. I can't talk to you anymore, though, so you're just done. Yeah, like there's no alternate um, means of identification. No. Like, I guess I could have called someone or something, but oh well. He's gone. Bye. <laughs> I could just keep everyone out, to be honest. You could. Just keep them all out of the out of here. It's you fine. Not go home. Yeah. No one's allowed in at this point. Uh, Ma'am. Excuse me. You look like a character from Attack on Titan. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh. Hmm. Uh, see. <laughs> Lines, man. <laughs> is this face paint? I, I can't tell. Excuse me, uh, I need to ask about your parents. Oh, my face? What is the skin? What is the skin? I. It's not really the answer I was going for. No, that's also barely a question. Oh, right. What is, what is, is, is this skin? <laughs> what is the skin, exactly? What is, is the skin? If not just an outer covering of the flesh. Right. Uh, Our largest organ. Ma'am. See, I like, can I just call out the fact that I like the fact that last time mm. everyone looked totally normal and the thing that caught me up was a missing date on an ID form. I start the game again and all of a sudden I'm being presented with this. Yeah. One of these things is not like the other. Wow. <laughs> Very, very cool. I'm gonna, Anastasia. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, uh, you know, just, I, I have to call my friends. Don't, don't mind me. Uh, just hold on a second. Just stay right there. Stay right there, ma'am. I just need to make a quick phone call. Uh, don't worry. It has nothing, nothing's wrong. Don't, don't be concerned at all. Nothing to be worried about. Great. Okay. <laughs> Where'd she go? I don't know. Poof. Disappeared. Man, we're batting 0 for 2 so far. Oh, we're doing great. Good day here at the office. Oh. Ooh, you have two different colored eyes. Uh, what, what is that? Hem hetero... Heterochromia? Heterochromia, right? I'm sorry, I also forgot to show you my ID. You did. It does look like she has two different colored eyes here, but I have a feeling it's going to be like... She's a chef. Nacha. Nacha Mikhail's before. Two, four. Nacha Mikhail's right eye blue, left eye green. That is not correct. That's right eye green, left eye blue. So she is wrong. I wrong again. Oh my gosh. I am. They are coming at me hard today. But was it like her left and her right or our left and our right? Based on how they said earlier, left cheek mole. Oh. And it's and it was reversed. Yes. That is That was incorrect. Wow. Because they did left cheek mole before. So. Good looking out. Uh, no one's getting by me. Wow. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. It is a feisty day here at the office. Bless us all. And still, no Dr. William Afton. Just saying. Dr. Wallace Afton. Lois Stilinski. Okay, Lois Stilinski, 1-1. One, one. She is allowed to be here. 1-1, one, one. Lois Stilinski. See, mole on left cheek. Her left. Her left. Yes. Round face, short hair, big lips. I wouldn't call this short hair. I'm just saying. That's pretty long. Her bangs are enormous. Resident of the building. I went out to visit my mother. I believe that. Sure, that's fine. Your picture looks good. You have a date. 8945698549698. Eight, 
nine four five six nine uh seven two three six five one seven two three six five one seven two three six five one great i think you are good to go you are all of those things perfect enjoy watch out for the clown dreams don't have any creepy dreams about clowns ma'am have a good day watch out for any flesh covered skin suit people good afternoon oh you again steven rudd boys as i live and breathe steven rudd boys three three Steven Rudd boys, pilot, big nose, wears glasses, short hair, small head. Wears glasses, short hair, small head. I mean, this looks like him. He is a pilot. Okay, 3-3 three, three is correct. Is he on the list? Steven Rudd boys is on the list. And so we check the number. He's got a date. 56584. 56584. 5455. 5455. 965. 965. Gotcha. Come on in, bud. Looking good. Now that, that right there, that's a quality Stephen Red boys. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. Hello, good day, Raflin Capuchin. Raflin Capuchin, you're on the list. Three, four, she's got a date. I went out to visit my parents. Three, four. Three, four, Raflin Capuchin. Five, six, eight, five, five. Five, six, eight, five, five, four, five, nine, six. Four, five, nine, six, three, two, nine. Three, two, nine. Perfect. Good. And you have all the features of you. She has the hairband, all that stuff. You're good to go. Come on in. Moving on. Enjoy your stay here at our apartment. The the, the security of this apartment building is, is quite intense. Right? Like it's very, very intense for a building where like there's obvious cracks on the on the walls and this and that. Like it feels very much like a, a prison. Yeah, you forgot to show the entry request. Thank you. I mean, they've put all of their resources into this robust security system. It's true. For screening. Okay, McCloy. McCloy, Red Boys. Three, three. I come from doing the shopping. Retired mustache, big nose, goatee. Always wears a hat. Big nose, goatee. Mustache, always wears a hat. Yep. Smoke. Yep. McCluey Red Boys got a date. 964516. 9645161846118461184611. You're looking good, bud. Come on in. Please extinguish that. We don't want to give a, a, other people lung cancer passively. Secondhand smoke is a real thing. The concern. Thank you. Okay, bye. <laughs> Mia. My girl Mia. You're not on the list, ma'am. Am I not on today's list? No, you're not. I think there's an error. I should be on the list. Well, I can't help you with that. Look at the list again. I mean, I can. There is a missing spot for someone, but I, I, I can't help you with that, ma'am. Uh, you're not. You're still not on the list. You know, there's. I already answered your question. Well, I, and I have checked the list again. If this is if this is as far as we're going, then tough. No, you're not there. Who's Francis Mosses? That's another guy that we haven't seen a whole lot of. Afton though, Afton knows. He knows better. Does she live with Afton? Who? She must. Mia. Mia. But hold up, I gotta I gotta oust her first. Right. I need but to then, give her. But the then we need to investigate because this could be huge. This could be huge. Is Mia Afton? Is, Mia? Mia Stone. William Afton. Is this Mrs. Afton? Oh my gosh. The soul inside Ballora? <laughs> Ballora revealed. New CEO of Fazbear Entertainment? According to that timeline where I had to make some stuff up towards the end? What? About to join her for a bite. Oh man. Gloria Schmidt. Gloria Schmidt. She's got a date. I'm resident of building. She's a banker. Gloria Schmidt. And what floor is she? Two, one. Two, one. Gloria Schmidt, banker, round face, mole on right cheek, short hair, round nose, all of those things. She has all of those things, and then some 698522. 698522, 341150. 341150. You are good to go, ma'am. Come on in. Should I pull up this clown site? I'm very concerned about this clown thing. 
I could check it out oh, for you. Hold up. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Hello. Your eyes are a different color. Six nine eight five two two. Six nine eight five two two. Three four. Three four one one five zero. Uh oh. Uh-oh, what happened? You come from my job as a banker. Mole on right cheek, short hair, round nose. Oh, no. You. Oh, no! Ma'am! Ma'am, what are... What, why, why are, do I, why should I not be trusting you right now? Why did I just let in your doppelganger? What happened? What's wrong? What, what, what is, what's the matter? And she's in 2-1? She's in 2-1. Oh, no. What? No! No! <laughs> oh, it's mole on right cheeked! Not cheek! This whole time, I've been looking at the wrong... <laughs> Short hair, round nose. She... Man. What, compare the ID number. I did, I thought. Six nine eight five two two. Six nine eight five two two three four. One one five zero. Oh. Three four one one five zero. Oh. oh no! Oh no! What have I done? No! Oh, what have I done? Maybe it's some my new show. Like maybe it's the the eyelashes or something. It looks like her eyelashes. Oh no! Ma'am, I I already let in your doppelganger. It's just gonna be crowded in there now. Oh man! Shoot. No! no! <laughs> I wish we could... Qu <sighs> oh, what a blow. Oh, no. Oh, all right. Bye. Oh. Maybe she maybe she just went around back and she got lost. Yeah. Maybe she just got lost. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 no! Hello! Is one of your defining features claws hanging out of your chin, Selena? I'm gonna ask about your appearance here. Yeah, you got like a little, little, little teeny hands, little baby hands. They're my arms, like the arms of a normal human. <laughs> uh, just, just hang on, just hang on a second. I'm just gonna call some friends. I'm gonna call some friends. <laughs> don't, don't worry. This is part of the proper procedure. Give me. Bless you. I'm a little allergic today. Bless us all. Bless, bless us, everyone. Earth contacted, yeah. So that one was uh, definitely doppelganger. I'm thinking so. I would say. I, I would say that one was pretty sus. Sussy. Yeah, you know, just like my normal human arms. You know, that's how it goes. Yeah. Oh! Whoa. Here he is. Well, well, well. Look who doesn't have an ID or an entry form. <gasps> Dr. W. Afton. Yeah. Is this your ID? Please be Dave Miller. Dr. W. F. That would have been awesome if it was Dave Miller. Right. That would be awesome. <laughs> and he's born in 1971. Hold up, sir. What about this entry request of yours? Oh, I see. Withholding information, Dr. W. Afton. Wait, 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 wait. Wallace Afton. Wait, okay. Yeah. Hear me out. His birthday is 71. It is. Wow. He is a prodigy. If you think about the timeline of the restaurants. Here's here's the actual thing that is worth calling out here. This calendar is from 1955. So how are all these people, how are all these people, Dr. W. Afton or otherwise, how are all these people alive? Unless this is just like an ancient calendar here for some reason. Whoa. We're in a time warp, baby. Just a jump to the left and a step to the right. Oh. Put your hands on your hip, hips and put your knees in tight. Do the time warp again. <laughs> I don't know about this. He comes from his job as a physicist. Floor three, number one. Floor three, number one. Robust eyebrows. His robust eyebrows. They're not robust. <gasps> he plucked them. He plucked his eyebrows. Excuse me, sir. I've got to ask about this. <laughs> What's wrong with my appearance? You, your eyebrows are... Decidedly not robust. Well, 
I, I disagree. I think you are hideous. And also, you're not even on the list, man. Not even on the list. Wow. It's a Willy bot. You've heard of Charlie bots, but this. Yeah, today's, oh, there he is. Oh, he mad now. Hey, William Afton, we don't say that word. <laughs> okay, I will do that. Thank you. Thank you. They'll never be able to finish us off. In the end, we will achieve our goal. And your goal is what exactly? Just find affordable housing. Because I think that, I feel like that's everyone's goal at this point. So true. You know, I think that's a goal shared by doppelgangers and humans alike. You're not so different, you and I. <laughs> We're not so different, friend. I have contact with you. Get that duck. That is not the W Afton I know. So true. Hashtag not my Afton. Not my Afton. Not my Afton. <laughs> Thank you for letting me continue my job. Thank you. I do love the implications of William Afton plugging his eyebrows in the morning, though. That's pretty incredible. This guy, all capuchin. Absolutely oh, not. Wrong spelling. Wrong Absolutely spelling. Not. All capuchin, sir, sir, sir. My idea, it's it's right here, but like, I don't see anything. It's it's misspelled. Alf, you've given me all. Sorry, get out of here. I have no patience for that. There's already a doppelganger in the building, so you know what? Like whatever. I just need to throw everyone else out. We're just making sure that they can't rendezvous. Yeah. At this point. Right. We can contain one. Yeah. He's like, it was a misspelling! Please! <laughs> Sorry! They are feisty today. They are. They're coming at us with peak feist. The peak feist. At the end of the day. Oh! Good afternoon, Alf. See, it must have been a misspelling. Sorry, else I forgot to show you my... Uh, okay, sorry, man. Yeah, I, I, Gloria must have been a mis... I wasn't checking your name spelling enough. Capuchin, three, four, he's a lawyer. Three, four, Elf Capuchin, he's a lawyer. One, two, oh, five, four, eight, oh, what? He wears a hat. Eight, oh, does he? Hold up. One, two, four, eight, oh, nine, six, three, four, seven. Nine, six, three, four, seven. Wears a hat! You are so right, Ash. Hatless. Is it because of my hat? It is. I forgot it at home. You can call my apartment and ask my wife. Oh, sir, I will do that. 4258. Call her up. 4, 2, 5. You, you better hope that your wife has something to say about this. Otherwise, you are getting the boot. 8, 8. There we go. Rotary phones in. Hello, Raffleton speaking. Raftelin. My husband is not at home. Yeah, I, yeah, he's standing right in front of me. His hat? Yes. He left it here. Nice. There it is. That All is right. a proper receipt. All right. I'm going to let you in. I think you're good otherwise. Your nose is good. All right. In. Good day, sir. Beware the, beware the dream clown. Watch out for dream clowns. No dream clowns. Whoa, you are one handsome man. Look at this guy. Isaac Gauss. Isaac. Isaac, you're not on the list, bud. Oh, jeez, Isaac. What a twist. Yeah, you didn't. That's right. Nothing gets past these eyes, except for that one woman. Definitely got past these eyes. Ooh, that makes me want to devour you even more. Oh, stop. Oh my gosh. Oh, stop. You're in public. Stop. Stop being such a flatterer. Oh Come God. on, man. Come on. Here? <laughs> Here, let me just shut the security door. Let me just shut the security door just privacy. for two months. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> is, is, this, is this happening right now? Is Do that, you like me? Am I, am, I, am I reading this? Here, I've got a checklist for you. Ooh, you're do, on my list. Do you like me or do you like like me? Oh, boy. Gonna let me into your apartment complex? Oh, jeez. Mm. Arnold Schmidt. Arnold Schmidt. 2 1. He's a writer. 2 1. Writer. Arnold, lies. I don't believe you. A writer doesn't have to leave the house. 
You're not coming in from your job. Prominent mustache, wears a hat, round face, short hair. He could be writing at a coffee shop. He could be writing at a coffee shop. The local cafe. 778566. 778566219322. 219322. He's got a thing there. He's good. He's good. And he's coming in from a job as a writer. 21. You are good to go, sir. Say hello to your wife and your other wife. Right? Are they live on the. Yeah. Your wife and your doppelganger wife. Good luck. Don't die. You know? <laughs> we'll find out. Selen Shkvech. Selen. Oh, Selen Vech. Double N. Selen Vech. Subvert. 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 Okay. Got a date. He's a model. One four. Whoa! Oh, they're twins! Selenge Verched. Model. Mole on a right cheek. Small pointed nose. Slim long neck has a twin. Right cheek. Thin. Okay, this looks good. Looks about right. Okay. 78561. 78561. 3269. 326. 3269. 514. 5 and 4. All right, you're all good. See, uh, watch out for uh, any doppelgangers that are posing as you with uh, arms sticking out of their neck. The subtle difference. Subtle. Nope. Good. See, I love that the eyes just looking around. Excuse me, sir. Uh, you seem to have awakened your third eye. You seem to have awakened that third eye. What's so strange about my third eye? Uh, you know, you've ascended to a higher plane. I think it's a very normal third eye. Yeah. Sorry, bud. <laughs> I, I don't, you know, not to be judgy, but sometimes things things just have to get shut down. Sorry, bud. It wasn't very normal. As far as third eyes go, I don't disagree. It was a very normal third eye. Yeah, I, I'd say so. A very pleasant third eye. Mm. Having a third eye on your forehead, though, feels redundant. I feel like if you're going to have a third eye, put it in the back of your head. Right? Like, that would be useful. You could, like, shift camera views. Try, you know, we got binocular vision. Try ocular vision up front. You are also a liar. There's been, like, 500 of you. You've got the big nose. And that's why his last name is Red Boys and not Red Boy. Right. There's a lot of them. There's a lot. There are. They really like copying <laughs> this guy. What's wrong with my appearance? Your nose, sir. Your nose. Is it swollen? Look carefully at the photos on my papers. I mean, that works, that works, but this, sir, does not work. This is not the Steven Rudd boys that I know. Hashtag not my boy. Get out of here. So many doppelgangers, so little time. Give them the boot. Big bad boot. Get out of here. No, no time for you guys today. No time. I've already let in one doppelganger. I can't let in uh, anymore. <laughs> I'm so mad I let in one. It's okay. Not okay. It's okay. It's it's a new it's a new shift, a new day. That I'm gonna die at the end of it. Here comes the spooky hands, see? Who was it? Who was it? Was, it? it was Gloria. But which the first or the second? I, I don't know if we'll ever know. And they were right next to We captured eight. Wait. We killed two people? We got, we got an A. Good for us. What? No DDD logo on. Th oh, buddy. Oh, they're man. they're catching me on some minor technicalities. The minutia in this game. They're catching me on some very minor technicalities. I gotta say. Wow, wow, dude. So we called in. I, I'm assuming we killed two neighbors because. We called it in on two people who didn't deserve it. Oh, yeah, and that's probably it. Right? right, that's what I'm assuming is like we called in calls on two people who didn't deserve it, but I don't I I, It has to be the people who just weren't on the list but had that empty spot, you know? Maybe. Right? Right, maybe. So well, we no, because that, that was the Right, no, we, we called one of them. So maybe one of them was that, but. Right? I don't know. I'm curious who we killed. Let us know. Down on the count below, who do, who do we accidentally kill? Because I, I, I feel like I stand by a lot of the things that happened. Right? I do too. Right? I don't, none, none jump out to me as like, oh, that was an obvious mistake. Like Gloria, we knew. Right. 13, doppels you allowed in, two times killed, three. What are my achievements? Killing a human? Kill one neighbor. <laughs> Yay! Achievement unlocked. 
get an S rank. Yeah. Be murdered. That I'm very good at that. Capture a hundred doppel. Wow. Oh my gosh. Finish one playthrough alive. So close. Survive without opening any folder. Oh wow. Complete Chester's quiz. I haven't gotten Chester's quiz. Mm -mm. Meet the clown. Survive 40 playthroughs. Get F rank. <laughs> Complete 100 playthroughs. Wow, that's a lot. Catch you. Catch a doppelganger red-handed. Discover the secret of the un... Excuse me. Discover the secret of the universe? Oh, man. That is a whole different level of achievement right there. <laughs> you have, like, your gameplay achievements of, like, get an S rank, and then you have discover the secret of the universe. Oh, boy. Peaches, peaches, peaches meets the peach doppelganger. Peaches, peaches. Select all achievements. Interesting. Well... We did get to meet Dr. William Afton. We did. And Love we did get to immediately send him off to the gulag. Yeah. So I feel good about that. I feel good about that, too. So, I'm sure we saved a lot of kids. You know, we, we might have died multiple times. And yeah, we might have killed off two neighbors along the way. Accidentally, though I still beg to differ on right. that. I, I'm not 100% sold that I killed off those two neighbors. I, I, I would like to see that proof. I'd like to see that evidence. Show me that evidence. Cut to me being shown that evidence. <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, I feel like we could call ourselves victorious. Yep. Because, you know what? Imposter Afton, Robot Afton, Doppelganger Afton, big old boot. Pew. I'm going to have to work that man into the timeline now. Yeah. Or actually, maybe I don't I have to send it to Tom. Tom, hey, did you know that William Afton is canonical and that's not my neighbor? <laughs> and that he's also, he started as a physicist. Yeah. Good luck. Have Work fun. that into your next half timeline. See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> anyway, uh, that is, that is, that's not my neighbor. This is fun. Um, I'm assuming that this is kind of, you just kind of like do it over and over again. Or is, are there like other levels? Um, the more that you play, the more becomes available to you. Really? I think we need to survive one Damn. round. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Sorry. Five. Well, okay. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do one off camera then. Yeah. <laughs> so that way I survive and be very good about it. Uh, damn. Okay. Just can't let a single one through, can you? Uh, so anyway, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, I could just... I could send everyone away, kill all the neighbors, but I survive. That's true. You just killed the building. Yeah. NBD. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. So anyway, Great. thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, <laughs> let me know where I made my mistakes. Let me know uh, if you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to see more of uh, That's Not My Neighbor, a little bit slower paced of a game. But uh, I think it's fun. This was fun. I enjoyed this. It's a nice and procedural and detail oriented in a way that I like to be. And I, and I just got to be more detail oriented, I guess, where I'm not paying close enough attention. So uh, it, uh, counting animatronic toes and fingers, counting neighbors, eyeballs, and arm neck arms so without any further ado guys remember that wasn't a live stream but it was a video a video for you see ya